Hi, everyone. Welcome to Happy New Year and Happy New You. I am Dr. Susan Merman, and this is Robbie McDaniel from the Skin and Laser side. And here's to you Cheers. for another happy hour, another hopefully informative happy hour. Today, we're going to be talking about this one. I'm sorry, a little technical difficulty. I've got to figure out. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things because I think in, in they're all really tied together. But I want to tell you a little bit about our practice because we not only practice what we preach, but we want to make sure everybody has a great experience at our practice. So we practice individualized health and a 360 approach, which means we look at the whole person, 360 degrees approach for individuals in, in, is your entire body. It's just not doing pap smears or doing... Um, breast exams, but it's looking at you as a person trying to make you feel better and live a happier life and a longer life, which I think is very important. So what's 360 degrees of happiness? Well, these are some of the issues we're going to be focusing on tonight, but they're really not issues because they're all fixable. And we're saving our big surprise for the, the very end. And that is where we're going to be talking about our new uh, weight management um, uh, program that we have, which is very, very exciting. I know I've been experimenting a little bit on some of my patients already with it. I've been experiencing it myself, <laughs> <laughs> experimenting myself. And Robbie, I think is going to be on board pretty soon too. Yeah. So 360 degrees of happiness. What does that mean? Well, it's the food that we take into our bodies and that can make us happy. Or if you're eating bad food, that can make you, your skin and your weight very unhappy. Hormones do matter. Hormone, hormonal balance is very, very important when it comes to you and your appearance, uh, your fitness, and your sexual health. So this all ties together. So balancing out your hormones at no matter what age is very, very important. Of course, fitness is, is important. No one likes to talk about fitness, but it's exercise. It's getting your blood flowing through your body, getting uh, pumping up your muscles and uh, it doesn't mean running a marathon either, but just getting your blood flowing and using what you have to keep moving. And of course, sexual health is very important for men and for women and for uh, people in relationships. So we'll touch a little bit about that, then get to the big news about our weight management program. So, you know, the world is like a mirror. If you don't like what you see in yourself, you can change it and you have the ability to change it. And not only what we also study, we study epigenetics. And epigenetics are genes that are handed down from our parents. And they can tell you, well, I'm at risk for heart disease, or I'm at risk for uh, diabetes, or I'm at risk for certain other uh, strokes or other disease states. But you yourself has the ability to change that. And sure, you can change your appearance, but it also changing your inside can help you change your appearance as well. So I think that's very, very important. It's called epigenetics and uh, you, can, you don't have to be like your parents. So food is fuel equals longevity and happiness. And so timing is everything. So what you're putting into your body is not only fueling your body, but it's helping you promote to live longer, live healthier, change those epigenetics that we were talking about, eventually making you happy and making those around you happy as well. So timing is everything, especially when it comes to eating. Um, I used to count, I mean, I still do. I counsel a lot of patients in the office. And one of the biggest questions I get, and I'm sure you get it yes, too I on do. your side, <laughs> is I can't get this weight off. How do I lose weight? Or I'm gaining weight uncontrollably. And, you know, I would just bust myself telling these patients like, uh, do this and they'd say they're doing it or I'd say do this they said they're doing this so every time I told them they were asked them you know what are you doing and they say they're already doing it but obviously they didn't look like they were doing it right. so I just would get frustrated and I had to cut my losses at that point <laughs> and I would have to say starve yourself <laughs> which sort of is true <laughs> but there is science to help you do that and uh, it comes in several different forms but my favorite and which has the most science backing it. It's called longevity diet. And you know, for those of you who've been in our practice, 
we do uh, have Prolon, the fasting mimicking uh, diet in our office. But I want to encourage you to either read this book if you can. It's by Dr. Walter Longo, and he's brilliant. There's over 20 years of research, not only on the blue zones, where those areas around the world where people are living longer, but they're eating well and they're not starving themselves, uh, but they're living longer. And it's all about longevity. They're beating epigenetics or they're changing their way of life or their lifestyle has already been that. And there are several blue zones, you know, all over the world, including, uh, you know, uh, part of the Italian coast, all, to, all the way to uh, Okinawa, Japan, uh, Loma Linda, California. I mean, there's several other places, but basically this diet, which I hate to use the word diet because we know what that means. Right. <laughs> Nobody wants to, <laughs> but it restriction. Talks, yeah, restriction. <laughs> yeah. But it talks about restricting your food intake and eating what you want, but eating it at certain times or eating what they call the fasting mimicking diet. So the longevity diet basically is based on thousands of years of people that have been fasting. And when we say fasting, it doesn't mean you do that every single day, but it means that you do it for maybe a short period of time. And that's been happening all over history in different cultures. And, but there's science backing that up that it really does alter your epigenetics and it alters uh, your body and can actually heal your body for a, from a lot of different um, issues you're having. I mean, I used to have, I mean, I know Robbie's tried Prolon as well too, and I've done it religiously like almost every month, but even little things like my Renaud syndrome and my fingers got better, my exercise improved, my lung capacity improved, uh, my skin cleared up, it, cl it clears some dermatitis. So there's a lot of different things that it helps with. It helps reset your metabolism. And what it's doing is, for those of you who know what fasting and a five-day water fast is, that doesn't appeal to anybody, does no, it? No, never. nobody wants to do it. Never. <laughs> no, because we, we like to eat. <laughs> we do. We like to eat. Uh, we like to cook. It's part of our social it's life. It's part of our social South, So yeah, Exactly. Absolutely. But you can do anything for five days. So if you could mimic a water fast for five days, still eating, I mean, what have you got to lose? Right. You don't. You don't have anything to lose you except do weight. For five yeah. days. Do anything for five days. And maybe lose some weight, which you do lose weight on it. But so it gives you the food for five days. And all they ask is you don't have any alcohol and just black coffee and that's it. But the food I think is delicious. Uh, but it's designed to be, but I'll show you a slide later on, keep you under the radar to make your body thinks you're starving yourself. So how brilliant is that? If I tell them to starve yourself, now I can say, there's science behind it. Yeah, that's right. There's science. Yeah. Love it. So, and then another question I get, which I also, you know, like I said, I practice what I preach. Robbie does too. I do the prolon once a month, but all they ask you to do to change your epigenetics a lot of times is just three months out of the year. So that's pretty good too. So intermittent fasting, uh, it's the biggest Googled word ever uh, that is, uh, that's, on the internet right now. It's intermittent fasting. Everybody's on it. Patients are coming up to me talking about it. So they're doing it too. So whether you're doing, a, what is it? A patient told me today she's doing a 15 and nine mm -hmm. There's fast, 18. 18. Some people do 24. Six. I've actually done that. So. I've done 24 yeah. hour fast, which doesn't mean you don't eat for 24 hours. It means you have one meal in 24 hours. And to me, that's appealing. Some of because, that time you're sleeping. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eight hours of it could be while you're asleep and you don't right. know you're fasting. <laughs> but how brilliant is that? I'm going to eat the meal I want to eat once a day. And it's going to be great, no matter what it is. And it's called intermittent fasting. But we're not saying do one fast a day, uh, two fasts a day. I happen to eat myself between 12 and 8 p.m. Uh, don't have wine after the that 8 p.m., but I will have wine prior to that. <laughs> uh, but I eat what I want to eat, but I do I do watch my carbohydrates. So what if you have trouble extending your fast? I think that's a big problem for a lot of people. I mean, they they drive through, uh, they go through uh, Chick-fil-A or drive past it's Chick-fil-A and they're salivating. Right. Um, or just the thought of having to go without food is like a mental thing of how can I do this? Yeah. You know, and then the, that takes over of I'm hungry. Yes. You know? <laughs> so. Yeah. So, I mean, but this, uh, the prolon people have, uh, 
launched their fast bar, which is another brilliant, um, brilliant way to fast. And basically it's a bar that's not low cal, it's 200 calories, it tastes great. And when you get that hunger, but you wanna keep going on your fasting, you eat that bar because of it does not re raise your blood sugars. Mm -hmm. Your blood sugar stays the same. And the macronutrients related to your uh, into this fast bar still keeps you what I like to call under the radar mm -hmm. <laughs> and the fasting police won't get you. So I think the fast bar is a brilliant way. We just got boxes of that in. We're talking to our patients about it, but it's, it's absolutely amazing way to do that because I can go all day without eating if I wanted to, if I just had one of these bars and it fills me up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you tried the bars. Yes, I love them. They're great. They really taste mm -hmm. great. And, and they do fill you up and they satisfy you until, you know, the fast is over. So I think too, um, people who've done intermittent fasting for so long, you know, get into that mindset of, I can't eat anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm scared. What? Because it's got carbohydrates. It's got, it's got uh, calories to it. But this particular bar doesn't raise the blood sugar level. So it still keeps you in that fasting state. Is right. that correct? That's correct. Yeah. It keeps yeah. you in that fasting state. And I think um, another brilliant uh, way of looking at things. Now, why can't I just go out and get a kind of bar or a protein bar yeah. or something like that? Because they're not designed like the fast bars designed not to raise your uh, blood sugar. They, the, like I said, the macronutrients are not the same. And trust me, I, I gave another webinar on this before and I looked and I compared, I went to Whole Foods and took pictures of all, <laughs> of all the different bars that they have. And there are a lot of bars out there. So don't think you can just go out. Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> it is. It's like buying probiotics in the store. You see the wall right. of it. So don't think you can just go out and I'm going to get one of these bars and we'll do that because you want something that has science back behind it and, and and the taste is really good too yeah there's there's several flavors too several mm -hmm. flavors mm -hmm. i like the nut and honey a mm -hmm. lot but they do have, have the chocolate the, I chocolate, like the chocolate i like the chocolate too mm -hmm. so let's uh let's skip over to hormones because diet is also related to your hormones and what you're eating eating clean diet meaning you're not getting anything in your diet that's going to have Excessive hormones like mm -hmm. some chicken and and beef that's hormone fed milk milk things mm -hmm. like that. So so hormones have a lot to do with it. Hormones mainly what source are you getting your hormones? So we go through all stages in our life where hormones can wreak havoc on our body, including when you're younger and you might be getting polycystic ovarian syndrome, where you've got too much estrogen and not enough progesterone, and that those uh, women tend to have the weight. Mm -hmm. And you're have, seeing that in younger people. Seeing now, that so. in younger people mm -hmm. now. And a lot of it is for what they're eating. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also has an impact on their glucose and their blood sugar. And they become what they call insulin resistance. But I'm going to mainly fat flat um, mainly talk about here is hormones when it comes to perimenopause and menopause. Because perimenopause is the most common time we start getting the same. I'm just feeling a little thicker on the center or I'm not be able to lose the weight. It's because your hormones have changed. So, in, so balancing out your hormones is very, very important. Um, and it's important to get your hormones checked at several stages because it can drop at, at, on a dime, your hormones when you're right before mm -hmm. menopause. I say the beauty behind menopause sometimes is we're starting with a blank slate. Mm -hmm. There's zero. Right, <laughs> so, exactly. Feel from there. So, I used to do lectures a long time ago, and I love, this isn't the exact picture I used, but I love the Golden Girls. I love B. Arthur. They were so much fun back there. I think it was the 80s. The show was unbelievable, and uh, they were ahead of their time. So I always thought, you know, the menopausal Barbie was with B. Arthur with a, a Barbie body right. on it. <laughs> so I, I see it. So we, but, but if we, what if we had uh, an actual Barbie that was menopausal. They're making all sorts of Barbies right now, but I think they do have one with gray hair now. Oh, I think nice. so. Then I think she's a little thicker, but we don't want yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> we want to, you know, look our best and still be able to not accept our age. Cause I don't accept age, but um, feel like you did 20 to 30 years ago. So there are, uh, Three different types of uh, hormones. I'm only going to talk about the two main ones, plus some thyroid. 
But estrogen is the main hormone that we know goes up and down like a roller coaster when we are in our 40s and sometimes 50s. <laughs> uh, three types, estriol, est estradiol, estriol, and estrone. Um, estradiol is the one that makes you feel good. It gives you the energy, it quiets down the hot fl uh, flushes. It does a lot of, uh, you know, just make your skin. Your skin has estrogen receptors in it, so it helps with that. But too much of it can drive you crazy, literally. Uh, estrel is a weaker sister, but has benefits. Estrone, bad sister hormone. You don't want estrone uh, because some of those metabolites can increase the risk of cancer. So we believe here at McDonald Merman, delivery should always be topical and bioidentical. And by bioidentical, that means what Robbie has running through her system should be what you replace it, just the same thing. You don't want to replace it with something that's man-made by a horse. You know? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> that's not bioidentical unless you've got some other genes in you that we don't know about. Um, pharmaceutical versus compounding. Well, there are bioidentical pharmaceutical um, estrogens. However, they're probably not, uh, they're, they're okay, but they're not a, uh, they come in limited doses. Mm -hmm. Compounding gives you the ability to mix and match hormones and also get a customized dose. Estriol or estradiol or, or bias, bias usually comes with estradiol and estriol in it. And I put a a lot of women that come in that are older, wanting to start out hormones, I put them on the biased, mm -hmm. a topical cream, because I think that's the safest. And then we kind of manage it from there. Uh, there's estrogen or estriol vaginal cream, which is also uh, proven, uh, proven to be beneficial. And pellet therapy, which is where we put a, like a little tic-tac. I have thing. that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even feel it. Yeah. Yeah inside uh, your subcutaneous tissue and it lasts for three months and gives you a very steady state, even delivery mm -hmm. of hormones. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy too, because you don't have to think about it. You don't it's, have to think it, about it's it. It's all done. Except you. take yeah. the progesterone, which is something I'm not really talking about in depth here, but taking a progesterone that would help. This also balances out your body and helps when it comes to weight gain, as long as you're doing it the correct way. Mm -hmm. Testosterone, it's just not for men anymore, and it hasn't been for quite some time. Um, oral contraceptives and oral estrogens actually work against testosterone because what they do is they bind up your good testosterone levels, your free testosterone levels in your bloodstream, causing a lot of fatigue and a lot of uh, unhappy uh, partners and a lot of unhappy patients. Mm -hmm. uh, we have about one-tenth the level of testosterone in our bodies that men do. And our peak is in the 20s and 30s, just like men. So it's, you know, I always said, I wish we could do a snapshot of what you and I were at our 20s and what, because that's when we felt great. Yes. What our hormones were then, and maybe they are doing it these days, but then you try to match that later on and, or try to balance it out as you go on. So it's just not a big shock when you don't have any. Mm -hmm. uh, I do not recommend oral testosterone. It's very toxic. It's man-made and there are studies showing it can contribute to breast cancer. Uh, topical uh, testosterone injections and pellets are great. Uh, like I said, there's testosterone pellets too. Injections are great. And I'm, some of my patients love it. It's not totally bioidentical, but they do well on that. And those are usually monthly injections. Mm -hmm. So thyroid, that's a hormone too. So it's important too, when you're looking at weight loss and, and why aren't I losing weight is to look at your thyroid. So just make sure that your doctor is addressing your thyroid issues too, or just doing a screening because sometimes thyroid is the great menopause mimicker. Mm -hmm. Your thyroid can be way off, give you some symptoms that make you think you're in menopause. So to get that piece of the puzzle and also where it comes to, you know, helping your body and metabolism and lose weight is what you need to look at. So just make sure you're getting a thorough thyroid uh, workup. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the bad part. No one wants to talk about fitness. But I know they say the big, the old adage, use it or lose it was associated with a certain part of your body and most likely coined by a man. <laughs> but I want to tell you though, it goes for every single part of your body. Use it or lose it. You're not using your lungs. You're going to end up in a COPD commercial one of these days. Uh, you don't use your arms and your muscles and your legs. You're going to end up on a scooter, right? right. Absolutely. <laughs> 
and mm -hmm. anything that you can think of you need your muscles you've got to lose muscles i mean not lose muscles you have to use your muscles so it's very very important uh you keep moving you keep exercising and working at work and, and walking around is not exercise but you want to get your lungs filled with oxygen that helps your brain and that's a workout for your brain too when you think about it yeah so nobody likes to talk about fitness everybody says i hate exercise well do something that's going to increase your blood flow mm -hmm. uh increase your lung capacity move your body around is so important even just a walk yeah you know? A walk doing things that you uh, hobbies that you like to do even yard work and things like that just getting your body moving you yeah know? just get so, moving and, mm -hmm. and you'll be happy so but can you actually build muscle without lifting weights you can now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can now i mean and and i'm not recommending this as the only thing that you're going to do but it helps you build muscle and when you're building muscle you're losing weight because what's happening is you're increasing your metabolism by building those muscles because your muscles are working harder to to maintain and it's using up a lot of glucose mm -hmm. stores or glycogen stores so it's very very important so you know we do our research carefully here at mcdonald merman and, and uh, i was doing mandu for a while and i thought wow this is great it's electrical stimulation it was contracting my muscles and i was barely moving anything mm -hmm. So I thought, wait a minute, I'm looking, some of my friends have this other technology in this company. So we looked at BTL and MSculpt and some other uh, devices they have, which this is just amazing because it works all over your body, not just your abdomen, but your biceps, your triceps. It can work your thighs, it can work your calves. And what ends up happening is it's electromagnetic pulses that actually are contracting your muscles and you can feel it. Um, I did my arms. Uh, and, oh my God, I was exhausted, but mm -hmm. I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. It was all doing it for me. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really good way because not only when you're contracting your muscles, you're burning fat at the same time. So we also not just have plain M-scope, we have M-scope Neo. Mm -hmm. And Neo means they've kicked it up a notch. Right. <laughs> That's adding radio frequency energy. So the radio frequency energy, which you know from other devices that we have in our clinical. I'll touch on a little bit later. We're big believers in radio frequency energy, not only for skin tone, but for fat reduction. So if you're eating right, and you're doing all the right stuff, and you're getting your exercise, MSculpt and MSculpt Neo can help you maintain that and get the muscle mass that you're looking for. But that alone is not going to do it. You still have to do the work on the other part. Right. But this is a great way right. to, to and do And the it. great thing about where um, here is um, our body contour specialists also work with you and talk to you about um, what you do at home, not just come in here and getting a procedure done, but it has to do with what, what all you're doing at home uh, to help and to, you know, form, reformulate your, how, what your daily routines right. are to um, get the best fitness for you. Yeah, it's not a one, one mm -hmm. done and deal. It's it it really like we're saying when it's 360, it's yes. the whole thing. You've yeah. got to do your work too. So we also have M tone because a lot of times you can have you don't have as much fat as you want, but your skin tone and your cellulite is not that great. Um, so anyway, M tone is another radio frequency device, but it has um, pulses. I mean, it's really it where. It looked like I can say like beating the fat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it does. But it helps breaks up those bands with uh, with uh, areas of stubborn fat or with cellulite, and I think that's great. And one slide that I don't have up here, which is sort of in the lines of M Sculpt, is M Cella, which if you want to you know get your core right, which is what happens with M Sculpt because you're contracting your ab abdominal muscles. If you do your abdomen, it's helping your core. But also, we always say, help the floor too. Mm -hmm. And the floor is your pelvic muscles. For those women that just had babies or they are, uh, they've had a bunch of babies and they're looking to get their, uh, their pelvic floor muscles back for incontinence. Uh, we're also starting to see a lot of men using this for erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. uh, your sexual health back, and especially for incontinence. So, I mean, it's, it's called MCELA. You sit on a chair, you're not doing anything, but you're still feeling these electromagnetic 
pulses in your pelvic muscles. I mean, it's contracting. It's just, have you sat on it before? I haven't yet. Oh but. my God. <laughs> You're like, whoa. Yes. <laughs> but that's, I mean, uh, we, that, that chair stays booked all mm-hmm. the time. So that's worth looking into. And I really think it helps pelvic muscles and incontinence, especially. So anytime you can do something that's not surgery, that's what we're looking at. So let's talk about sexual health. And we're talking about men and women too, because it's very important or whatever relationship that you happen to be in. Sexual health is very important. So we have, you know, Encella is a part of that. We were just talking about the electromagnetic pulses that contract your pelvic muscles. That's one aspect of it. But what we've been doing, and we actually did the original studies on it from, I don't know, eight years ago. I can't remember how long ago we started. We did the original studies on Thermiva, which is a radio frequency device that basically is the size, it's a little longer than my pinky, but it delivers targeted radio frequency energy to the outside of your vulva, which everybody wants that to look better. You want your face to match Mm -hmm. that, so this helps. Mm -hmm. Increases (laughs) the tone. Increases the tone, but it also works on the inside for incontinence, increasing uh, blood flow and hormone receptors and getting your tissue back together. Uh, as far as if you're menopausal, it helps with some laxity issues as well, but it's, it's a great device. And we've had that for such a long time. Like I said, we did the studies on it and it still stays booked in our office. And uh, that in combination, again, hormones uh, is a no brainer uh, diet and exercise. Uh, so feeling good sexually is just like, you know, helping your appearance in a way. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if we got any other thing under sexual health. Hormones, we've already talked about hormones. Mm-hmm. So, and m cell, I think those are the, the two big ones. All right. You know, I love my golden girls. <laughs> I was so, look at them. Look at I Betty know, I know. I was so <laughs> upset when Betty White passed away. Now I don't, there's none of them are living anymore, but I just happened to see some, uh, some of the reruns. I mean, well, yeah, I binge watched a lot of the reruns <laughs> <laughs> and they're just so funny, but they were so far ahead of their times, especially when it came to what they were doing in their life, dating, uh, their sexuality. And, you know, some of those things I'm like, did they really say that on the, on TV back <laughs> I then? Cause I was, what am I? Blanche is special. Blanche, <laughs> I know. She, it, so it's really funny, but one of the, one of the quotes I have to say that does not, should not be reflected to how we think, but I think it might've been said by Sophia. It said, there should have to be a certain age where you turn your life, you turn in your life, like you turn in a library book. Well, no, <laughs> we don't want to turn in that library book. No. <laughs> So everything is very, very important. And, um, and I have to wonder, you know, because Betty White always said she, let, she lived long because she ate hot dogs and avoided green food, which you've gotten to past 100 if she hadn't had those hot dogs and she would have had some green, <laughs> That's right, <laughs> greens in her diet. But anyway, yeah. but I love the Golden Girls and uh, <laughs> I think that they're, uh, they're great and everybody should watch it because they were so far ahead of their time, you know, like Blanche, you know, she was the sex symbol. And, and, and yeah. dating younger men and yeah. they were all fighting for dates and Dorothy gets married in the end. I cry. I just look at it now. I mean, I was so young back then. I'm, I'm kind of there. Oh. <laughs> you know what though? Okay. I'm but, at this but age think about now. This. I'm getting there. So. They didn't but have Botox. Back they didn't. They then, didn't. But they might've looked a lot younger mm-hmm. had they had Botox. They would, but they look how great they look. Yeah. All right. Well, this is what you guys all been waiting for, but we've also going to talk about um, aesthetics in a minute, which is what you're the best at and which is really good. But um, I guess we we're going to have a drum roll, but I forgot to tell you to do the drum roll. (laughs) (laughs) This is the new old kick a kid on the block. And I'm, I'm sure everybody has heard of semaglutide, maybe not that particular name, but you've heard of Ozempic, mm-hmm. you've heard of Wagovi, you've heard of Saxenda, all weight loss, but all the same peptide, which is semaglutide. And peptides are short chain amino acids that are great for your body. They're precursors to other um, functions in your body. I mean, you have some that will increase your growth hormone uh, during the night. You have some that help you build muscle. Um, This is one peptide 
that literally has changed a lot of lives. And I, I started doing, uh, pa putting patients on Ozempic only because they, they couldn't figure out a way to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And basically it cuts down your appetite. So I was giving patients Ozempic and I was seeing weight loss like 30, 40 pounds yeah. uh, because your appetite's just not the same. You don't look at food as the same, not, you know, especially if you're an emotional eater. So, but now we have the benefit of semaglutide, it's compounded. So you're not having to have that great expense with, uh, with, uh, with the pharmacies trying to, uh, trying to you know, afford it, which sometimes patients just can't afford it. Even my diabetic patients, which you've seen Ozempic on TV, right? Mm -hmm. The commercials, oh, oh, Ozempic. Yes. <laughs> you see that on TV. So, but when I even have diabetic or pre-diabetic patients and I tell them to get on Ozempic, insurance doesn't pay for it, mm -hmm. which is really a shame because it's helps them in the long run. So I've been putting patients on, I've seen their cholesterol profiles change when they lose the weight. Definitely their hemoglobin A1C goes down, but the good news is there are no side effects, except maybe you might feel some nausea or nauseous because you don't like, you don't look at food the same. And so I've tried it myself to see what I would feel like. I did great with it. I feel great. And, uh, but now the compounded version is out that even has L-carnitine in it, which also helps with weight loss mm -hmm. and muscle mass. So I think it's a great thing. And so we now uh, call our office because what we're doing are certain packages uh, of semi-glutide from the compounding pharmacy. It's a lot better and uh, for you than what we're gonna, you can get in the, um, in the pharmacy mm -hmm. because you can afford it now. And that's, that was the key. It's like, I hated it because people that really need it weren't mm -hmm. allowed to get it or couldn't afford it. So, but there are lots of packages that we have planned out with some glutide. It's a once weekly injection that yes, you can give yourself an injection. If I can give myself an injection, right, yes, anybody can give themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sure. Anybody can give themselves a little injection and, and we show you how to do it here. So look for our upcoming uh, specials, call us for a consultation to see if, uh, if you're a good candidate for you, which most people are, there's no risk of hypoglycemia. If you Google it, it works on your GLP-1 uh, uh, receptors to make you feel full and also uh, tell your brain, hey, I don't need any more of this food, right. which I think is great. Mm -hmm. so, so let's get to Robbie's area, yeah. which you know we always say appearance matters and it does. It ties everything together because if you're fit, that's part of your appearance right. uh, and eating and what you eat can help feed into uh, how you feel your fitness eating clears up your skin. Like I told you, Prolon cleared up my skin mm -hmm. big time, yes, but love absolutely. what you see in the mirror, because if you like yeah. what you see in the mirror, we I love this. that picture too, because every morning we should get up and look at that. Yeah. We're and, fierce. <laughs> and I used to and we look great and we're on top of the world. Yeah, yeah. We're ready to go. Yes. And I used, I used that same slide about 15 years ago when we started our skin and laser clinic uh -huh. to actually uh, have um, to show that if you, look good. if you like what you see in the mirror right you're going to take better care of yourself on the right. inside absolutely absolutely so here we go I, aesthetics the icing on the cake icing on the cake <laughs> yes it is um but also you know it is it goes all with what we're doing on the inside too so um aesthetics you know most people think oh it's you know a long time ago just facials then it was botox and filler now we've gotten into uh, more regenerative uh, where you can stimulate your own collagen to um, make yourself look younger and more youthful and beautiful and still look like yourself without changing uh, a remodeling to look like something that you, you don't look like, you know, or didn't look like. Um, there's, a, there's inner beauty and there's beauty in everybody. So, um, and that's what we're here to do is to um, bring out the best you. So, and it takes uh, several things. Um, it's not just Botox and filler anymore. Can I, can I tell mm -hmm. you a funny story about uh -huh. Botox? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Long time ago, I used to, I was going to show a picture here, like somebody is looking mad uh -huh. and then they had Botox and all of a sudden they're happy. <laughs> not only does that make you feel better about what you see in the mirror, mm -hmm. but it also, uh, it does work on your brain right. and make, and it's like an antidepressant. Like I just told mm -hmm. you guys the other day, I said, my antidepressant has worn off mm -hmm. and I think I need yes. to get some more like yes. in my forehead. <laughs> Actually, I had, uh, I've had a couple of people when I, when I inject 
you're like, that actually feels good because yeah. I know what it's going to do for me. So yes, uh, we do Botox and, and filler here, just like um, we started out a long time ago, stopping movements, st making those wrinkles disappear, uh, filling in places that where we've lost volume, uh, plumping lips, making a sexier uh, smile um, and rejuvenating the face. But now we've gotten more into, um, like I said, regenerative medicine using microneedling with radio frequency, which um, any type of um, aesthetic thing that we do, whether it's a facelift or We're surgical, facelift. no, <laughs> no, but you know, in, in, in the realm of um, aesthetics, it's all about creating an injury on purpose. We want to do that because um, by creating injury on the outside, it causes that body to go into rapid repair mode. It tells the body to make new healthy skin, right. you know, and when we do that subdermally, whether it's with threads that we do here or just like mm -hmm, pulling up your face, mm -hmm. microneedling, <laughs> um, we're also stimulating the uh, dermis underneath to, uh, to create collagen, which helps to make a younger you smooth out wrinkles and uh, lift. So um, here, yes, we do Botox, we do filler, we do microneedling with the radio frequency. Um, we do threads. Um, I also do hair restoration and we incorporate that sometimes with PRP. Did yep. you want to say something? No. Okay. <laughs> Which is platelet rich. Well, I just get excited when you're talking about I know, that. <laughs> I know. So we can incorporate a lot of these things. And, and when uh, a client comes to see me, I tell them that this is a journey. It's not just a one and done thing. It's, it's a journey. It's like when you work out and you go to the gym, you get your perfect body. Do you come out and say, okay, I'm done for the rest of my life? No, you have to keep going back and stimulating your body to um, keep it. Uh, to Use wear. it or lose it yes. with your skin. <laughs> and, and same thing with your skin. So all of these things that we do, um, whether it's threads that pull and create collagen or microneedling with radio frequency that creates collagen um, that we have to um, you know keep that going so people say okay so I'm making collagen how long is that going to last well I ask them where are you doing for yourself at home do you um, do you wear sunscreen are you putting a vitamin C serum, which is real important for the skin because vitamin C goes down into the subdermal layer and creates a protective barrier against your collagen and the rays outside. Because you can stand next to a window and, and you're going to break down collagen. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's good to wear a protective um, outer coating of sunscreen um, to keep you from getting brown spots, sun, can sun cancer or, or skin cancer. Um, and break down collagen, but also the vitamin C on there helps build collagen and keeps it from breaking down. So I ask, are you doing that? What are you eating? Are yes. you eating healthy? That's what I like you, about you guys over there yes. because you're looking at the whole person, mm -hmm. just like we are on the other side mm -hmm. and at, you know, telling them this, this is what we have right. out there to help you eat. Drink lots of water. water. Um, you've got to keep stimulating uh, your body to keep that collagen. So you'll hang on to it longer if you're doing these things, which when in that turn, I tell them, go visit mm -hmm. uh, across the hall because we're a 360 company, uh, a 360 practice. So we want the inside to match the outside and the outside to match the inside. So when you I always tell everybody, you know, we want you to be the best you. So when you feel your best on the inside and you're healthy and you come and you do the extra things, the icing on the cake on the outside, you are a better you. So that makes you a better person, a better spouse, um, a better friend, a better community person. You're better at work and you wake up every day feeling good about yourself. That's true. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. That, that um, definitely does that. So we want to say thank you and cheers to your health yes. and thank you for being cheers. a friend. <laughs> thank you for being a friend. Being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love them. We're the golden girls. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. How'd it go?